What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Car Talk. You know, I appreciate the response we got to the last edition of Car Talk. And unfortunately, we started the series with a, I don't want to say a depressing theme, but a contemplative theme talking about the untimely passing of my neighbor and really how that impacted me. Hopefully there was a bit of benefit that you were able to take away. But today's episode of Car Talk, I want to discuss a full day of eating. What do I eat? A lot of people ask me, man, Dolce, they want to see a full day of eating. Well, I will shoot a full day of eating in my house, like the foods I eat and all that stuff. Today, I wanted to discuss a full day of eating. and I'm going to tell you exactly what I eat on the average day. Now, briefly, why haven't I done a full day of eating yet when I know those videos trend? Like Chris Bumstead and Fuad Abiyad and many of the fitness influencers, they all the time, they crank out full day of eating videos. And they get huge hits and huge ratings, very clickable topics. Why don't I do that? Well, I don't do that because I have two little girls in my house and we homeschool. And for those parents out there who know, well, it's challenging. As soon as a camera goes on or as soon as mommy or daddy says, hey, can you be quiet for a little bit? Well, then it's impossible. It's impossible for anyone to be quiet. Also, I'm not big on overly leveraging my children for social media and for clicks. A lot of fitness influencers do that. They build out accounts for their children. I don't get that. I don't understand that. We understand what social media is, and that's a whole nother conversation. I just don't do that. My family, we don't do that. I'm very much a, a normal, reserved, blue-collar house, right? That, that's kind of the, the issue or the, why we, the way we run our house the way that we do. So it's, our house is not made for TV. It's not made for Instagram. Um, everything we do is to teach our children just to become amazing humans and versions of themselves. But I digress. So that's why I haven't done it because it's kind of hard to do it when you got to a five, seven year old and a five year old in the house that is homeschooled, which we f love, 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 love homeschooling, by the way. But anyway, let me get into it. So what is a full day of eating for me? First thing I typically do when I wake up is I drink water. I hydrate. I actually posted about this today on Instagram, my morning routine. For those who don't follow us on Instagram, you should definitely follow us at The Dolce Diet on Instagram, where a lot of what I put there is literally the meal I'm eating in the moment. Or if I'm at a restaurant, this is how I order select. Um, you know, all that stuff on our Instagram account. But hydration is first. Then I throw a little bit of caffeine, black coffee, into the routine. From there, I'm looking to sweat. I'm looking to move my body, whether it's on the elliptical, or the, the pre-core, the treadmill, or go outside for a walk, for a jog, for a bike ride. Sometimes it's just, you know, body weight calisthenics, you know, just because I'm pretty fluid with my movement, but every morning I move for a minimum of 20 minutes. I prefer 45 minutes as my ideal. Now I'm starting to ramp into, and look, I mean, I'm... <laughs> I live across the street from a beach and I have the boardwalk that's right here. I mean, I wake up to the sounds of the waves and the smell of salt in the air. I am blessed and grateful to have this. You can see what a fitness culture this is. And we're in the middle of winter right now. It's like 30 degrees outside. And you see all the people here exercising, happily exercising. So I'm in this culture, but I will say... It was very intentional for me and my family to move to this. So this wasn't happenstance. This was not luck. We placed ourselves in proximity to this. We worked. We saved. We did all the things that we dis discuss here on this channel to be here, to have access to this. So then I can wake up and I can stroll the boardwalk or ride the bike or get in the sand dunes, which I love. It's one of the hardest, best workouts I do is, is sand dunes. But I'm off topic. As I, I often get off topic when we sit here and start chatting and none of this stuff is ever, ever scripted, but I'll, I'll tighten it up for you right now. So for those 
who have been following us on social, you know I'm going through my own recomposition program. I started January 1st with the goal of being summer shredded. I want you to be in the very best shape of your life. And in order for you to do that, therefore, I must do that also, do that with you, right? I must put myself into the uncomfortable situations and set lofty goals and challenge myself to be in amazing shape. My goal is May 1st of 2020 to be in that that dick skin, thin, summer ripped, ready shape because summer hasn't even started yet. My call out to you is to be summer ready before summer starts. And we start that right now to further enhance that. I am offering $1,000 per month for February, for March, for April, probably into May. And I'm likely going, likely going to pick a grand champion. I've committed to February, March, and April to gift $1,000 to the monthly challenge winner who has the best transformation for that month. No purchase is necessary. You simply text me, Summer Shredded, and there is a link below this video to be in the group. That's all you have to do to be a part of it. I send you almost daily text messages and words of encouragement. I'm answering people's questions for free every day, which is not what I signed up for. And uh, I'm doing that also so I can further walk the journey with you. So that's the Summer Shredded Challenge, but I am a part of that challenge also. So as a result of that, I started cleaning up my diet. Well, after the holidays, I'm a normal person like you, but my bad is probably not what the average person's bad is. I just eat a little bit more of the mashed potatoes or a little bit more of the turkey, right? I don't eat the garbage. I'm not a junk guy. Uh, but anyway, so I let my, and I stopped, I, I toned down my training through November and December because I trained pretty damn hard and I learned I have to give my body I have to back cycle. It's a deload concept, right? And I'll get into that maybe in a different video. This is about nutrition. So anyway, in January, I clean up the junk. I followed the four by four, four meals, four hours apart, four times per day, not even counting calories, just eating high quality, high net nutrient, healthful whole foods. In February, I am on the four by five. That is five meals you know, I kind of, you know, it's, it's not really a four by five, but it's easier to say five meals now spread throughout the day. Right. And I started slowly increasing protein intake in February and just ever so slightly controlling fat and carbohydrates where now I'm starting a very modified carb cycle. I have slightly higher carb, slightly lower carb days. Again, if you're following me on Instagram, you will see that this Sunday morning I had a pretty big stack of pancakes, but that was after three days of relatively lower carbs. I hadn't done three days of low carbs at all, at all since probably last fall maybe last September, October even, right? When I was really, you know, I was I was in pretty amazing shape back then also. Um, and I'm, I'm not in bad shape right now. Like, I don't want to make it sound like, oh man, I let myself go. I, I mean, I'm, I'm in great shape right now. You know, the humble brag or not, I did full transparency. But it's, this is all relative to us. And there are people in way better shape with lower body fat than me year round right now. Right now, I'm not at single digit body fat percentage, but I'm damn close. I started this at like 11 and a half or so percent body fat. I'm probably, I haven't gotten tested recently, but I'm probably right around 10, just over 10 maybe. I always conserve, I always estimate high. So I'm probably just over 10 now. The goal is to be 8% on May 1st, FYI, and that's hard work. So now, what am I eating? So right now I'm, I'm eating five meals per day and I will through the month of February and I'm eating our living lean meals right now. If you're interested in what Living Lean is, you can click the link below. It's an online personalized diet and exercise program that, that's freaking awesome. So I'm following a modified version of Living Lean meals right now. And January, February, March 1st, I will then jump over fully to the online version of our Living Lean and Three Weeks to Shred It. Now, I I'm probably going to run a, a, a two-week hybrid of that because I'm gaining muscle right now still, and I don't wanna stop the muscle building. Like my weight has stayed almost static since I started. I'm still right around 210 pounds. I think I was 212, just like 212 and a half when I started. I'm still right around 210, which is awesome. And I've dramatically leaned up since I started. And I don't want, if my body is now saying, man, 
it, not my body saying, man, bro. No, if, if my body is now accepting this anabolic muscle growth phase right now for this period of my life, I mean, which is pretty perfect. My lifestyle is perfect right now. I'm not going to cut that yet with any form of caloric restriction. So I'm still eating an abundance of calories. But what I do have to do is I have to start upping my activity. And I've done that in the gym. That's a different video. So now, full day of eating right now is breakfast bowl comes after morning cardio. I'm having the breakfast bowl, but I'm also having egg whites on the side with some sausage. So like I said, I'm still in that muscle building phase. And this is atypical from what I might normally do. My next meal, my second meal of the day is fish and a big ass salad. I got a freezer full of fish right now. So it's fish and as much um, salad. Sometimes I'll go to this, there's this vegan place um, down the road and once or twice a week, I'll get a big old kimchi salad. I posted about that, but mostly it's, it's fish and it's salad. My next meal is leftovers from what we typically ate the night before. That's usually some sort of chicken or certified Piedmontese steak. There is a link for the Piedmontese company down there with a 25% discount with promo code Dolce. I do not get a kickback from that. That's simply passed on to you guys. That is meal three. Meal four is the Dolce way because right about that time is when I train. So I, I train and I have 30 grams of the Dolce whey, uh, whey protein isolate. Usually I'll have a little bit of fruit just after like maybe 15 or so minutes after the workout. I drink the whey protein during the workout, the last third, and I'll have like maybe half a ripe banana or I'll have some, some you know blueberries or raspberries, something like that. And then I go home for a real dinner, like a, a full la last night. I, mean, I literally have leftovers right now. If you can see this sitting in, the, in the, the Jeep next to me, that's chili from last night. So first meal is breakfast bowl. You guys know what that is. Now I'll do a specific video on probably like a shorts. I know my buddy Jim said, hey man, do shorts on a lot of this stuff. So I'll probably do a series of shorts on the exact recipes. I think that'll be helpful for you guys. So it's breakfast bowl, it's fish and a massive salad. Um, it's some sort of leftover dinner, either like a chicken or a steak. This is a certified Piedmontese grass fed, grass finished, 93% lean ground beef. Ugh. Oh my God, it's, it's amazing. Um, that's meal three. Meal four is still a meal because it's caloric congestion. That is the Dolce way with a little bit of fruit after, afterwards. I also, I try and drink coconuts, uh, coconut water. I haven't been able to get fresh coconuts as much out here. So I'm doing a little bit of the harmless harvest. Uh, that's meal four. And then meal five is whatever Brandy makes. And, sh and she's, she is straight out of the Living Lean cookbook. Every dinner we eat is, is out of the Living Lean cookbook because that's our lifestyle, right? So it's, it's a living lean meal. This is the champion chili, uh, which of course is tremendous. And from there, I don't have any cravings, right? So I might have like applesauce. Last night I had some applesauce and peanut butter as we were watching um, 1883 and Billions, right? That's part of our Sunday night routine. Um, so I had a little bit of that. So technically that was, that was six um, meals, but I, that was... You know, I crushed hell day yesterday also, by the way. So I felt like I could get away with that. Um, and that's it. So hopefully this is helpful. I mean, this is just you and I, right? You know, Monday, Monday morning, a little quick chat, a little car talk. I'm sitting on the coffee right now. I'm going to get to the office and I'm going to do a live Q&A um, at 11 a.m. on our sister channel. This is the Dolce Diet channel. That is our big sister channel. This video, of course, is for the Mike Dolce Nose channel. If you do not yet, please consider subscribing to this channel. Click on that little bell for notifications to all of our current subscribers so you are notified when videos like these come out. We're going to start doing some short lives and short Q and A's. Also, by the way, if you want, we have a new series, I think is going to be really fun and it's for you. I want to start answering your questions in a video format and I want you to record the video. So you can actually 
text me the video, the text message below, and I think it gives you 30 or 60 seconds maybe, so think 30 seconds video, you can text directly to me, or you can shoot a quick video, like 30 seconds, and send it to mailbag, M-A-I-L-B-A-G, mailbag at thedolcediet.com, and ask me one simple question, one fitness question, one lifestyle question. It can be even be about your business or personal finance. But what we'll do is we'll take your video, have you ask the, ask the question, and then I will answer it for you. So I would love that. I think that would be really cool, and it'd be a great way for us to engage more. So that's it, guys and gals. I hope you like this video, and until next time, boom. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you like this type of content, short, quick, straight-to-the-point clips, definitely subscribe to the channel so you're notified when videos like these come out. You might want to check out one of these videos for more great content guaranteed to make you laugh, make you think, and make your life better. Let's go.